Well, that boil water advisory in Fredonia is expected to last the rest of this week. As Tonya Sides Danielle Church shows us now, tens of thousands of bottles of water have been handed out. So many students are adapting to a new academic year, but at SUNY Fredonia, they're also having to worry about finding clean drinking water. It kind of just came out of nowhere, you know, with everything else going on. Um, so it was just kind of like another layer of uh, frustration, but uh, the residence halls and everything are being super nice. He says his residence hall is handing out five bottles of water to each resident at his dorm. While he is able to boil his water, not every student can. Our main focus has been on the uh, college campus students. They have roughly 1900 students there who do not have the means or the ability to boil water in their dorm rooms. Fredonia's fire chief says this is the first time the village has handed out bottles of water during a water boil advisory. Whether you're a student or not, the village still has 54,000 bottles of water on hand they are passing out. That's after the village's water was deemed to be too cloudy and have disease-causing organisms by the Chautauqua County Health Department. Mayor Doug Essex says it's an issue impacting the entire town. He says yesterday, the water filter beds started to get changed and some changes are being made at the water treatment plant. He told Two on Your Side last week that the issue should be resolved by Friday. As of right now, everything is still good to be done by Friday. That's all up to the health department right now. Yeah, so originally that was my original thought, but uh, things have changed since then. And uh, But the progress is being made, the upgrades are being done, and the health department will make that uh, make an assessment on Thursday. The village of Fredonia will hand out water bottles until 7 o'clock tonight, and if you aren't able to make it, they will pass them out again from 8 to 11 a.m. and 4 to 7 p.m. on Thursday. In Fredonia, Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.